<coughs> All right. So for the next example of uh, for the next example of immunoassay, we should be looking at is what is known as what the chemiluminance immunoassay. Chemiluminance immunoassay. Right. So for the definition, so that chemiluminance immunoassay is a laboratory technique which is used to dictate and quantify specific substances such as what proteins, hormones, antibodies, and drugs. I are quantifying these things in biological systems or samples, sorry. Okay. So it combines principles of immunoassays with chemical luminance, which is a process where light is emitted as a result of one chemical reaction. All right. So there could be release of light due to some chemical combinations going on. All right. So let's keep talking. For the principle so that is based on the specific binding of an antigen to an antibody, so the antigen or the antibody is labeled with a chemi with a chemical luminescent what molecule. So when this molecule undergoes a chemical reaction, it emits light. Okay. So the amount of light emitted is proportional to the concentration of the target and the light in the sample. Right. So for procedure, you have to start. You have to coat. So the surface of a solid support, like a micro plate, is coated with what antibodies, which are specific to the target and the light. Sample addition. So the sample containing the analyte is added to the coated substance. Binding so the analyte binds towards the immobilized antibodies, forming an antigen antibody complex. Label it now. So labeled antibodies that are specific to the analyte are added. Okay. So these antibodies have chemical luminescence. What? Um, labels attached. So for chemical luminescence reaction now. So the substrate is added. And the enzyme linked to the labeled antibody catalyzes a reaction that produces light. Okay, so for measurement, is that the, the um, emitted light is measured into a luminometer? Okay, so the intensity of the light is what proportional to the concentration of the analyte in the sample. Okay. Applications, it could be used for what? Diagnosis. We are trying to check out for amounts of what? Hormones, drugs, infectious agents, biomarkers in a sample. All right? Research to can be used for research. Also food safety. So you can you, you can now dictate if there's contaminants or allergens in a the food. Then environmental monitoring too. You can detect pollutants or toxins in an environmental sample. Okay, so that's it for definition, principle, procedure, application. 